What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So apparently, interracial dating tends to be a topic of discussion amongst black men and black women. And of course, familiarity breeds content. So what do you typically see? You see brothers and sisters wanting to get away from each other. We talk about it here on social media. This is not everybody, but you see it. Certain people want to go and try their luck with other groups of people. You have the passport bros, you have the divesters, you have SYSBM. But even now, we are seeing um, celebrities do it. Black women with white men and vice versa. Black men with white women. But, you know, the thing is, is that a lot of times when you see black women with white men, a lot of black women start applauding this. They start getting real excited, like, you know, um, sad music. Yeah, girl, girl, go ahead on, girl. You're getting a white man, girl. Get away from these pookies, right? Getting away from pookie, the white man is going to take care of you because what do they say? Black men don't want to get married. Black men are not serious about long-term relationships. Let's go over there and get with the white guy because he's going to be into relationships. He's going to take care of you. All of these things. Until we find out that the white guy isn't going to do the things that you thought he would. And typically what you kind of see is water seeks its own level. We don't want to talk about it, but it does, right? And, and the same mistakes you see sisters making with black men in the black community are the same mistakes that they make with white men in interracial dating sectors. And what I found out is like a lot of times black women are attracted to black white men who have like a white sort of feel. Isn't that like um, Michelle Williams? She's dating this white pastor in Arizona. He acts like a black guy. You see that? You see the same thing with Tamar Braxton and her white boyfriend? He acts black. And the same thing can be said with Travis Kelsey and Kayla Nicole. Travis Kelsey might as well be black. If we're going to keep it real. He's the kind of white guy that, you know, hey, he can come to the cookout, right? We're going to be real. He look like a, he not he's, he's white, but he act like a black guy. He sound like he's black. And it's not shocking that he likes black women. And let me just say this. Kayla Nicole is beautiful. Now, here, here's where we're going to, you know, <laughs> get in the situation here. They have unfortunately broken up, which I kind of figured that they would. And I, I believe the reason why they've broken up is because, well, he don't want to deal with her long term. All right. And a lot of times we think that, okay, she's dealing with him for money. Now, look, look, he's an athlete, six foot five. So it's not like he's like a 70 year old white guy where he'd have to pay. A lot of these guys are not paying like we think they are. These women are just there with them for the clout. And he was recently on, um, he was recently on this podcast, right? And on the podcast that he was on, he was asked about if he spent money on Kayla Nicole. And to be honest, he didn't even mention her by name. All right. Shout out to the Pivot Podcast. Um, but this is what he had. To, did you hear that? He talked about something that was important there. All of the women that are trying to get in his DMs. Did you hear that? There's so many women in the DMs. And he said, listen, you know, I don't know why y'all thinking that I'm cheap because it's nothing for me to give her a hundred dollars here or there or for me to give a hundred dollars here or there. He's a millionaire. What is a hundred dollars? I can afford a hundred dollars. In other words, what was his attitude toward her? Towards her. You should be lucky. I talked to you. You should be lucky. I acknowledge you. I'm Travis Kelsey. Okay, just because I'm a millionaire, I'm not spending money on you. Who are you? 
Now, this is what I think about a lot of sisters is dealing with, right? We, we're going to be real about it. A lot of sisters, when they say they want to get this white guy, they're looking for a white guy. And this is my honest opinion. Y'all about to be mad about, you know, I don't care. You guys are looking for a white guy some sometimes that you feel like he isn't hip to what's going on. He's not that smart. And he's going to let you do whatever the hell you want to do. This is what y'all are looking for. All right. And he can blindly spend money on you while you don't have to do anything for him. That's what I think. This is what I think. This is what I think is going on. So this is what they want. And my honest, humble opinion. Y'all are looking for this. Okay. Until you find out that, man, this guy ain't give me nothing either. And so why isn't he giving you anything? Do we want to know why he isn't giving you anything? Because in this case, what have you done to become a wife material for the guy? He dated you for five years and saw all that he needed to see. All that he needed to see. You know what? I'm good. This is all I need to see. I don't need to see nothing else. I'm good off of her. She looked I. Right, but I'm good off of her. And remember, she had that whole debacle with Cam Newton talking about she refused to cook and clean and all that stuff. Look. Look. You think guys want to hear that? You don't want to cook and clean and do what? You're not going to do what? And a man wants to hear that kind of nonsense? And you don't want to be feminine? Well, okay. Let's get you out of there. Let's get you out of there. You don't want to be here. Go. And then what are you back out doing now? Back at the NFL games, trying to find another athlete. Trying to find another athlete. And then you can't. Because you didn't add any value. And it came down to not just color, because I don't know why they think like, especially if the white man has some sort of, um, you know, Let's say if the white guy is, you know, somewhat attractive to, to women, has something going on, all of a sudden you're going to just bypass, you know, white women, Asian women, other black women, and just spend all this money on you because you're special. Although he's an NFL athlete, a Hall of Famer, and he can deal with anybody. But he's just going to, you know, do, do that with you because you're special. Like, what, what planet do people live on? If you're not offering value, you're not going to stay. Until you have to find out the hard way and now you're mad. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.